Like the many facets of a diamond, these beetles come in a myriad of colors and a variety of sizes all amounting to that illustrious name of Cyclomatis metallifer. Of course, the second half of that nomenclature was named after their beautiful metallic sheen. This beetle has several subspecies scattered around the many islands of Indonesia and the ones I have here are metallifer, Phenai, and isogai. Honestly, I love isogai the most because its mostly gold body and black tips of the pincer remind me of the Shigaru Magala from Monster Hunter. But as you can see, they can come in so many colors depending on the subspecies, but also their metallic sheen can differ as well. I only need a couple more to finish the Infinity Gauntlet. There's not much research on the colorations of these beetles since most tend to focus on their impressive pincers, hence why I made a video on that first, but one study looked at the heritability of color for this subspecies, the Phenae. Phenae? I'm not sure which one it is. Anyway, mine is this gorgeous purple out of selective breeding, but in the wild, you can find this stag as a gold one similar to the Isogai, or more jet blue black. Researchers were curious on the genetic expression of these two colors, so after several generations of breeding for a stable genotype, first they crossed the black and gold and the resulting offspring were all gold. Then, crossing that generation together revealed a re-emergence of the black phenotype at a ratio of 1 to 3. It turns out that the gold color is dominant while the black morph is recessive classic simple Mendelian inheritance. Of course, for completion's sake, they also crossed the first hybrid with a black stag to result in a progeny of half black and half gold. It's still unclear why the metallifer comes in all these different colors. Maybe it's for camouflage to avoid predators, or maybe it's for thermal regulation, like what's probable for the Hercules beetle, or maybe sexual selection. Unfortunately, there's not many field observational studies, but I'm curious whether the distribution of specific color morphs is random or not, since it could elucidate an adaptive advantage. Or maybe it's simply not disadvantageous, so it just exists. But for now, out of curiosity, I'll be trying to breed the beautiful purple Fine with the gold speckled Isogai and see what comes out. It will probably be gold if they follow the results of this study, but maybe the subspecies will differ in some regard. They do seem to be a bit reluctant to breed, but I'll hope for the best.